PvP is a huge part of the Minecraft genre, potentially the most important part of the building and redstone which makes you feel like school is inescapable. Being a Minecraft editor, many of these combo challenges have popped up in my recommended. I've always wanted to make one for myself, but PvP has never been my strong point. You might have heard of Intel Edits. He's been making lots of tutorials for nearly 3 years now. So recently I decided to test 3 tutorials in particular, see if they actually work and if I could use them to make a PvP edit of my own. If you're new here, then hi, I'm Mix, a Minecraft editor, animator and content creator who doesn't have an upload schedule. <laughs> I hope you enjoy this video and maybe learn a thing or two from it. For the video, I decided to use a scientific method to go through everything. This consists of five parts including observation, hypothesizing, experimentation, theorizing, and creating a scientific law. Observation and hypothesizing are the easiest parts, as all I need to do is watch the tutorials and take notes. As I want to practice getting long combos, I focus on these three videos that Intel did. How to combo, how to stat, and how to combo lock. But anyways, before I get into the tutorial, there are a few requirements that must be met if you want to start combo locking people. I also watched an extra video, but the main thing I got from there was that my DPI was too high. <laughs> Altogether, I took three points from each which I thought were the most important. Now I wouldn't suggest taking what's here as the gist of the video, and if you haven't watched them, then I suggest you do. Anyway, two of the main things he talked about were that CPS isn't really a factor here, and timing as well as movement are the major needs. And if you thought CPS matters, you can combo lock with two CPS. This lets me make my hypothesis for the video. With the right timing and movement, one can be good at PvP, irrespective of the CPS. Although this is a bit of a stretch, as CPS does indeed help, it helped me have something to focus on. So with this, I went onto PvP land, the server he recommended, and started practicing with the easy bot. In total, I practiced for about 6 hours or so over the span of 3 days. I attempted the method Intel had suggested, S-tapping, the tapping of S to stop and reset your sprint, which increases knockback. Again, if you want a more in-depth explanation, his tutorial is all open. Anyway, after an hour of trying, I realized that for some reason, my brain can tell my finger to release S properly. This combined with a note that I made being don't start a combo with S-tapping discouraged me from continuing and made me go back to the drawing boards to find a more universal solution. Luckily, not too long after, I learned a new method, a method I'll call W-strafing for now. Basically, whenever I tap W, I also tap either A or D to strafe to one side, quite literally circle strafing but interchanging once in a while. This allowed me to reduce my speed significantly as strafing reduced forward motion and was also much easier to time personally and start combos with. My reach increased from 0.5 blocks from trading hits to 1.5 up to even 3, depending on how long I've been comboing. Calling it today wasn't an option though, as my goal was to consistently get 2.5 plus blocks of reach as stated in the video. So for the next few hours, I continued practicing until I basically started comboing the bot immediately. The bot gets pretty boring after a while, and once you start winning without breaking any armor, you know it's time to move on. The main issue I had with the medium bot was starting combos, as it had a little more reach than the previous one. This is where CPS would come in handy, leading to a higher chance of you getting the first hit. I ended up finding a way around it, by strafing a bit before attacking, countlessly missing my hits only to realize that I should probably focus on my monitor, and also reducing the length of time that I W and A tap. Here's a good example of it in action. So as you can see here, at the beginning of combos, I tap W and A for a very short time, but later when I get more reach, I start moving more in order to catch up to it. Eventually a few days later, I got pretty good at comboing once I got the chance, and decided to finally test myself on a real player. Wait, sorry. Anyway, after the session of torture, I felt like I'd gotten enough data to identify what I noticed and come up with a reasonable conclusion. So in a nutshell, the video most definitely did help me improve my PvP. I started noticing it was much easier to combo people both with and without speed and even on Hypixel. There were however a few things I noticed and wanted to point out. CPS, although not necessary, is very useful to start combos, and thus combo lock. Strafing helps significantly to start combos and to stain them if you're not the best at timing, and also stops you from going through players on the first hit. 
However, you can also get comboed if you strafe too much. Finally, controlling the lengths of your W or S taps is key if you want to hold the other person in a combo, or prevent yourself from guessing combo. So it's not necessarily only timing, but also judgement skills. Now in order to make this theory a law, I need the help from you guys. Try attempting the journey too to get better at PvP. Once enough people have and agree or come up with another theory, then generally it will be known as a law. Kind of like the known fact of how sprint resetting increasing not back. With this journey and test coming to an end, the last thing I have to do now is to make a combo touch, so I hope you enjoyed it so far. Consider liking, sharing, and subscribing if you did. If you do comment, be sure to know that I'll reply. My final shameless plug would be to join the Discord, because you know from the intro, I have terminal upload schedule syndrome, and you get to know when I do upload there. Now ladies and gentlemen, in order to make this edit, I asked my friend Cookweed, who's ridiculously good at PvP to duel me. Enjoy. Oh no. I couldn't even touch him.